Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cor, and this is Trailmakers, and I'm in the test zone today. I thought it was quite fitting for today's challenge build, which was submitted by Luminous. Thank you so much for this idea. We're seeing him come back with his awesome ideas. I really like the ideas my community comes up with, and if you want to be part of that, and you want to give me an idea, you have an idea of a really fancy thing you want to want to see me build, or see me just struggle at building, then you can click the link in the description, that'll take you right to my Discord, where we have lots of fun talking about different things that we can build, and different challenges for me, and we just talk about what we've been building in Trailmakers, and it's really fun. If you want to get in on that action, you can go right ahead and click that link. Today's challenge build really has excited me, because it gives me an opportunity to explore a set of blocks that I just haven't in this game. And it's a shame, because in other games that have logic blocks, I love it. I absolutely love it. Like Minecraft, I love building redstone machines. It's so much fun. And all the logic you can do in this, I just haven't I just haven't messed around with it because I haven't really needed to. But today, Luminous has tasked me with building a car with a cannon on top that fires automatically. So Luminous said to make a car that has a turret on top that's spinning around. And when it sees something, it'll take a shot. And I want to take it one step further. I want to see if I can make a vehicle that will track its target. I am not sure at all how this is going to turn out, but I'm optimistic as usual. So, for any good militarized vehicle, we're going to start off with an armored seat. Let's just get a good old foundation for whatever masterful creation I have coming up. That's a good little foundation if I do say so myself. I want it to be pretty square. And I guess it's not really, but who cares, you know? Who cares about that? Uh, let's just, uh, add an engine to it. Where are we? Um, do we want to drag an engine? How fast do we want this thing going? I mean, right now it's gonna fly because there's nothing on it. That might be a little too fast, but we'll work with it for now. Alright, so the turret's gonna be up top, so what we're gonna have to do is, uh... I don't really know. I guess I didn't think this through. <laughs> hmm. Well, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm just gonna have a uh, elevated platform for the turret to sit on top of. Easy peasy. <laughs> Looks a little silly, but I guess the job done. Now we got plenty of connection points up top for the greatness to appear. That actually looks kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Maybe that's just me, but we'll just we'll just go with it for now because I'm the only one that matters here. So, large cannon, tank cannon, small cannon, tiny cannon, I think, I think it's a, it's a toss up between this and the tank. Let me just refresh my memory on which each of these does. Hmm, I kind of like the tank one, not gonna lie. And it will fit into the design a little bit better, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, now let's get the basis of this thing going. So, I'm confused as to what I'm gonna do here, but let's just, let's just go for it. So we're gonna have... Nah, that's too big. Too much. Uh, we're gonna have a... Over here, please. Where is a... I don't have any. Okay. Over here, yes. This will be the turret. Dit, 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 dit. And we've got a couple servos that will function as the uh, rotation, obviously. Now, we have the ability to turn these. Woohoo, look at that. That's quite something. But, I want them to do that automatically. So let's go into the configurator. We're gonna have a 360 degree angle, obviously. I want the speed to be low. That's a better speed. Oh, I also want them to hold position. That's right. Uh, uh, hold position, hold position, please. And hold position, please. I keep pressing escape to close the builder. I don't know why. So we've got hold position, and we've got left and right turning. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, let's see. Here's where it gets tricky. So we're going to have a uh, distance sensor. Um, I think, I think that's what I'm looking for. 
Output scale, distance meters. Uh, invert trigger. So, my question is here. Is it looking out the front of it? Like, is that little thing the sensor? I think it is. You sensing me? Can it sense me? Can it not sense me? Okay, hold on. We need something to look at. No, no, no. Go away. I don't like you anymore. We need something to look at. Now let's get a big old chunky uh, thing to look at. Uh, what's a big old chunky thing? It's a big old chunky. Nice. All right, you just stand there and be chunky. Now, are you going to sense? Oop, I saw it sense something. Is it really? Wait, what, what, what? It's detecting there. Is the sensor at the front of it? Oh, the sensor might be out the front of it. Well, that's silly. Why is it like that? Okay, come on, over here. Um, well, that's fine. We can deal with this. We're just gonna have to make a couple wings. Which we were gonna have to have in the first place anyway, so that's fine. Uh, we don't want them that far apart, do we? I don't know. We'll find out. So, yeah. And that should sense things. Yes, it senses. Out the front. Okay, good. How, how is the distance? Okay, the distance needs to be higher. But that's, that's something that's easily changed. Alright, alright. So, I want it to be... When that side is triggered, it turns left. So there's going to be two of those sensors. One on the left and one on the right. And if it sees something on the right, it'll turn that way. If it sees something on the left, it'll turn that way. And then if both of them are triggered, it'll stay put. Right... Let's, let's talk about that. So they need to be a little closer together. Delete. Delete. Um, so let's start simple. If this is triggered, then this gets triggered. Okay. Let's see what that's like. Why is my cannon firing? Ho, ho, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Why is that on? <laughs> no, 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 no. If you get triggered, you get triggered. Also, I'm gonna turn off the control inputs for these, just so I don't get confused, okay? Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that, it's tracking the, it's tracking the leg. <gasps> it's tracking the leg, it's tracking the leg. It's working, okay. Oh, this is working. And now we just need this one to work so we can track the other way too. What about if we invert the trigger? Will that make it go the other way? Is that what I'm thinking? Is that what I'm is that what is that what's going on here? Okay, and then if this one's triggered. Wait, what? Okay, let's not invert the trigger, but I have another plan. If we take this guy and we flip him over. Just like that. That'll reverse the inputs. So if we have this guy, not take that one, but this one. Okay, so he's he's nudging it. That's the wrong way, though. That's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Stop it. Why is that one triggering? Okay, I want this other one to trigger. See where it goes. Is it still going the same direction? Hold on. Hold on. Over here. Over here. Sense it. Okay, so they're both making it turn the same way. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Uh, I want the I want this to be. I want this to go differently. I want it to... No, 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 no. I want it to... I want it to go backwards. Bah. Hmm. What if I put the output scale to negative one? Because that should make it go negative, right? I don't know. That's how it works in other things. Okay, let's trigger it. <gasps> oh, it's working! It's working perfectly! Look at that! Oh my gosh! Ah, what is it doing? Oh, it's tracking both things. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's working. It's working. I've only been going at this 18 minutes and it's working, guys. Okay. Hang on a second. This could be fantastic. Uh, we need the, uh, we need the one last touch of the AND gate. Uh, yeah. The AND gate. Because if the AND gate sees 
Uh, so basically we have this and this being the ands. And if the and sees, then it will... Uh, okay, I need to think about that a little bit more. But let me just... I want to test this out just a little bit. Because I feel like it's working. And I want it to actually... I want it to actually work. So we're going to get a different target. One that has fewer legs. So that my thing stops getting so confused. Uh, you can go away. What are we going to shoot at? What has no legs? Uh, let's see. Let's do the all-purpose vehicle. Because he's a absolute unit. Pretty easy to see. And I think if we... Uh, if we uh, automatic... If we, if we set up the range of these... To 50. That should be cool. Okay, let's see what that can do. Let's see what that can do. Alright. We're just gonna turn around and see this guy. Oh, look at that. It locks right on. Look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. It's a little unstable, and the servos don't move fast enough for me to be going at any speed. This is so cool. Okay. And uh, sense it. Oh, it's so shaky, though. It's so shaky. Here's what we do need, though. We do need an AND gate. We need an AND gate because if we put the AND gate here, and then we say this, and this, and then they trigger that. Both of them together makes the cannon shoot. Will that work? Is that the way it's working? I don't think so. Is this how it works? You set this and this? Is that how it works? I don't know how it works. Like, what do you set the inputs for the AND gate? Is that how it works? You just make these toggle that on? But they are. Maybe these have to be closer together. Maybe that would work. I don't know. Maybe they weren't ever on together? They're definitely on together. And ain't no shooting happening. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how to make the AND gates go, but there's an easy solution for this problem. And that is, uh, another distance sensor. Obviously. And this one will be... the same distance, but all it does is make this one shoot. Okay! Forgot that part. Ooh, that's what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for. Ouch. You know, I feel like the, the height sensor, distance sensors might be a little high. They won't be able to see low down things. So let's just uh, reposition them a little bit. This one can't really be repositioned that much. Hmm. That's okay. That'll be fine. Uh, we kind of need a new target now. Oh, how dare you my own creation <laughs> My own creation takes shots at me. I don't approve. Uh, let's see if we can uh, Let's see if we can make this work a little better. Can I have this just sit right there? Will it still work? I feel like it'll run into itself Okay, it won't it works fine well, let's uh Let's get the actual test going and see if we can get some shots on it. Cannon is now activated. Let's go over here, and then we'll turn around, and we'll uh, we'll start advancing on our thing. Ooh, look at that, I can sense it from so far. Oh wait, was that the ground? Okay, there we go. The thing has a higher sensing range than the actual cannon. Look at that, total destruction. And I didn't even do a thing, it just auto-aimed it. I, 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 be careful, please. Oh, if I, if I angle down too much because of speed, it, it shoots the cannon. That could be dangerous. <laughs> I'm really, really happy the way this turned out. That was so easy. That was the shortest build I've ever done. Hopefully this video isn't, like, only ten minutes long. I'm just so smart. <laughs> no, I was just super lucky. I got really lucky on this one. Luminous, that was an amazing idea. I want more like this. I want more logic stuff. I want to be forced to think. I want to be forced to use these logic blocks. That's the only way I'm going to learn how to use them. Because I'm too lazy to do it myself. <laughs> but this was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. This one was super fun. And I have another challenge build actually already lined up. 
Hopefully we'll get to that one next time, but this one was super cool. I think that's uh, the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this challenge build. If you did, leave a like, and if you haven't already and you would like to, you can subscribe to see more challenge builds and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.